Okay, well here's another fun mission. Uh, I've successfully gained the high altitude, no one else kind of came up, so I've chased this bomber down um, over one of our bases. He's turning back into me, makes it an easy target, and a few short bursts take him down. Uh, so then I'll turn back toward the action, make sure that there's no one else who's climbed up high in the meantime. And looks like neither that bomber nor the typhoon are going to come up. And we've got a couple guys down there to take care of them. So I'll fast forward to getting back into the action here. Uh, this looks like my first real target, so test some shots, but didn't time my shots right. Now I'm just swooping up to decide which bomber to go after. It looks like the B-25 is going to be a more important target and a closer target. So, send some his way, that does the job. And see if I can catch up to the Junker. Just make sure that no one's coming up after me, and good thing I did because someone's chasing me up. So I'll see if I can rope-a-dope this P-39. He gets wise to my plan and decides to dive away and run. So again, we'll just check our surroundings. And it looks like either this P-39 or the IL-2 over there is going to be the next target. And let's make it the P-39 because he's more dangerous. So we'll slot in on the P-39's tail. And he gets wise to me, but that's okay. I'll get my guns turning inside him and just squeeze some rounds onto him. And then switch back to the IL-2, which seems as of yet unaware of me still. So I'll try and get some shots away before he can turn. I overshoot, and now he starts to turn away. Just try and I make the mistake of not turning my wings again. And can't get a firing solution. So I've got to pull up and away. And again, situational awareness check. No one else really around. Maybe that P-26, but it's a P-26. It's like a World War, early, early World War II plane. Um, so not a big danger there. Um, maybe that F-4U is going to be the next danger. There's a hurricane over there. But that F-4U is likely going to want to climb, so I'll get out above him. Is that, what's that hurricane doing? I don't know. for you doesn't seem to be climbing up to me. Hurricane's going away from me. Maybe one of these fighters is going to be climbing up. Not really. Well, maybe I'll focus on the P-39. Okay, so I'll pull up into a high yo-yo to come back down on the P-39. He's already diving away, so... Cancel that. Maybe this P-26 that's stalling out. Alright, so I'll focus in on the P-26. Stalling out and see if I can finish him off. Don't lead him quite enough. Score one hit, maybe. But now I've got the P-26 interested in me. I'll do a classic rope-a-dope here. Just go straight up. He's already near stall because he's just finished a stall. And I'll flip over now, because he's sure to stall. His last shots before his plane starts to flatten out. And that does the job. Now I better get check my bearings here. And there's a Wellington that spawned in, so that'll be my new target. Again, keep awareness. Just make sure my intercept angle's right here and check behind me. No one's dangerously close to me yet. Learn from not having my wings angled earlier. So lead effectively there. That does the job with a long burst. And let's check who's near me now. That I-185 seems to be the next most dangerous thing in the sky here approximate to me, so I'll put out a burst and then pull up out of range. 
See if we can flip back over on the I-85. Meanwhile, checking that hurricane is the next closest thing, but it's still three kilometers away. And see if we can get a firing solution in the dive. Doesn't look like it. I don't want to get too low. Lose a lot of energy. So I'll stay up high. And the I-185 isn't coming up, but the Spitfire looks like the next closest thing here. So better work on engaging the Spitfire. See if he's going to turn into me, and he will. So put a burst out and pull up out away. And see if the Spitfire. Okay, so the Spitfire is turning onto my tail. My best option in the 109 is to use speed. Again, so I'm going to keep running from the Spitfire. Oh, and there's a hurricane. I guess that hurricane was climbing for a long time as I was engaging the 185. And uh, so the hurricane is now above me. So I'm going to continue using speed to my advantage here to get some distance between me and the hurricane and nearing three kilometers I know I can do a upwards turn an Immelman to turn onto him so knowing I'm safe probably by this distance I can execute that Immelman in order to engage in a head-on The Hurricane's trying to get some insurance with height as well. That gives me time, which I don't use well, to try and get a firing solution, and I've got to pull up away before his firing is effective on me. I know he's got a little more energy, so I'm going to turn out of the way just before he can get a firing solution and split S to get some energy back into my plane here. It's kind of a sideways split S, but it does the job. And... I get turned around. Nope, I don't succeed. And so I'm not going to get myself in front. I'm going to do another split S to try and turn faster. And this hurricane's going to nearly stall out trying to do a vertical Immelman. I don't turn aggressively enough. Again, not angling my wings to the movement of my opponent. And I'm tempted into chasing him here, but still don't get a firing solution. So now I need to focus on conserving energy, because I'm in a real dogfight, which means I need to do very vertical turns, not horizontal turning, just to maximize. So here I'm straightening out the vertical turn and getting tempted into chasing him. Again, no firing solution. And see if I can get a firing solution again. I'm not meeting enough. So back to dogfighting. Try and do a vertical Immelman, and I'll chase him upwards again, thinking I've got enough energy. And, ooh, I'll just squeak out of his gun range there. And try and turn up enough to catch him here, but I'm fairly low on energy. And again, straighten my wings out to try and get a real vertical turn here. I see he's doing a horizontal turn, so this should work effectively, except, uh-oh, P-51 climbing in on me. Squeak out of the way, do a hammerhead turn down, just to get out of his way, and start diving away from him. Thankfully, he's not going to follow, but the hurricane is following. Now, from an earlier encounter, I think it was with that B-25 earlier, uh, he put a hole in my fuel tank, so I've had a fuel leak that I've been watching up to this point, and I'm down to a matter of seconds left in fuel. I've been watching basically flying on empty here. But I'm going to try and get some separation, get this guy to lose interest. And I get tempted to go back to him, but I know that he'll get the drop on me if I try and do a full turn, so I'm going to keep my speed, keep using my speed while I've got some fuel to try and put as much distance as I can. And I'm Again, loading a bit of energy into the plane by gaining a bit of altitude as well. Here's hoping this means he's losing interest in pulling away, but he's not. He stays in the chase. So I'm going to need to start moving back towards base at this point, knowing that I'm just about out of fuel and just waiting for my opportunity to start turning. So this is it. And just as I start this split S, my engine completely dies and I'm out of fuel. So from here on I'm gliding. So I figure I'd better check my distance and how far he's closing. 
Now I'm going to have to dive more aggressively to get enough speed to keep any real distance between us. But diving aggressively means I'm not going to reach the airfield, so I'm going to kind of make a compromise there. He's closing relatively fast. Again, I dive a little more aggressively to keep the distance, realizing that if I keep diving like this, I'm not going to make the airfield. I've got to switch strategies, so here I'm just watching for tracers and dodging as needed. But now he's closed the distance to about half what it was when we started diving, so I know I need to switch strategies. So at this point, I hit my flaps and start slowing down as much as I can to try and make him overshoot and without giving him a firing solution for long if possible. And now he's starting to overshoot, he's pulling off, so I'm going to try and slot in behind him here. I don't have enough energy to really turn very fast, so I'm basically stalling out at this point. I'm going to focus on a dive and just try and stay aware of where he is. He's got to be on my tail by now, and sure enough he is. So I'm just going to try and keep my wings angled at a different place than his so that I can always pull off once he starts trying to acquire a firing solution. I get sucked into the opportunity, but think the better of it to slot in on his tail because I need to keep focusing on moving toward the airfield. All the while paying mind to where he is. Okay, so now I'm gonna figure out, make sure I've got the right angle to actually reach the airfield, all the while doing enough dodging to not give him a firing solution for any length of time. And now I've do dove quite deep, so I'm gonna need to make sure I get myself over that ridge while still keeping enough speed and distance behind us that he can't get a firing solution. And surely there's got to be some team help at this point, I'm thinking to myself. And he's coming in for a final pass. Thankfully, a teammate helps me out. Now I just need to get over the hill and to the airfield. And I've slowed down just above stall speed at this point. My propeller's not even spinning anymore. There's not enough wind speed to push it. So I've just got to make sure I can squeak my way over to the airfield. And the plane's starting to really drop like a rock. But I just squeeze my way over that hill and just focus on getting a little more speed so I stop dropping quite so much. And then flatten out to try and get myself over this ridge. And it looks like it'll work. So now I can do final approach for landing. Get my landing gear down and flaps down for landing just glide in worked out all too perfectly all right so in our points there's just a sliver of blue left at the top there so we're still in it but not for long i'll see if i can rearm and uh, get back in the fight before the round is over. Okay, so I've taken off again and climbing as much as I can to get that all valuable altitude. Just kind of watching for what planes are coming in, seeing who I'll engage first. Looks like this bow fighter might be my first engagement. But, get no real firing solution, and he's fairly gone, so I'll see who's up next. This A6M2 is close, but diving away. And there's really no one else, so I'll turn back and see if I can engage either this A6M2 or that bow fighter. A6M2 is diving away, so that's not likely to be my next target. I'll switch on to the bow fighter here. 
just check my six, make sure no one's snuck up on me. All's looking good so far. And the bowfighter is starting to dive away, so I'm thinking it's not likely I'll catch him, but I might be able to get an intercept course on this B-25 that's diving. So I'll set a likely intercept course. And I notice he's just dropped his bombs, so he'll be pulling up away, and I'll try and catch him as he pulls up. I'm trailing a little bit. Finally, I get my wings angled right, and that solves the problem. And the V25 is finished. And back to the fight. See what last bit we can do before the sliver of blue that's left is gone and the round is over. Looks like maybe this P38 is coming up at me. We'll see. And if I dive and engage, though, I leave my so vulnerable to the Spitfire, which definitely has my number, so we'll engage the Spitfire short burst and pull up out of the way. And see if I can just simply energy fight, rope-a-dope the Spitfire. And I'll start flipping over in case that worked. It looks like it did. He's stalling out for a classic maneuver. And see who else. In rope doping the Spitfire, it looks like I also sucked in the P-38. So I'll see if I can catch him recovering from stall as well. And lead. Looks like that works. Okay, switch on to BF-109. Make sure no one's on my tail again, but looks all clear. So we'll see if we can help out this P-51 being chased down by another BF-109. BF 109's overshot and is pulling up, which plays well into my hand. We'll get close for the strike, and that does the job as well. And that is all for this round. I try and catch that lag three in front of me just before the round is over, but just can't quite reach him before the round ends.